Well, that log rock we know, I visited it with you a little while ago, folks. I'm checking out just if we can come up with something a little more conducent to my forays into the woodlot. And so, we'll do that. Uh -huh. Okay. You can see we're on top of a ridge here. It's been plowed up years gone by. Okay. I just wanted to come and do a little research here. There's trails all through this bush, hiking trails for taking your dogs walking, that kind of thing. And today we're taking it a little mildly because I'm still suffering from an injury to my spine. Okay, I'm going to set the camera down and see if we can't find some place to sit and visit. Be right back with you. Okay, now we're here. Just breaks the breeze a bit, that's all. That's all I need. I'm not going to finish putting the tarp out. Breaks the breeze. I'm happy with that. Anyway, I wanted to check out and see if there was some place in here more practical than back where I was going before. And I'm going to do some exploring in here. In the meantime, anyway, Thank you for joining me. I know, I don't have a walking stick. This is as close as I got. The idea is to find some place I can come to readily. Um, here I should be pretty much out of sight. Uh, the car is parked uh, a few hundred yards away. And uh, so there will be that that part people will be able to see it's not that I'm hiding it's just that if you it, it, around here it, it, folks have built in a real nice area in gravel and that they used fire uh, stones and they built a, a fire pit and all that stuff it didn't take a few weeks vandalism destroyed it so I thought okay I come in here and look and yeah I think I'm going to be doing some trimming and all that stuff. What I brought with me, I made it simple, okay? Down in here, and I just grabbed a few things and stuck them in my bag. And so, we brought, <laughs> yes, my Svea, one, two, three. Okay, for those who need a log. Okay, now it's in the pot here. Uh, 
and a mug and some water now I also brought I was gonna cut it out you see I marked it it's cork okay my wife had a number of them thrift store or whatever I don't know where she got them hands are warmed up a bit Okay. Now, if you recall, I can take that lid off. In actual fact, probably if I had the heat down low, I could leave it on, but I'm not going to do that today. Yeah. I figured, why not? It'll do. That little windshield is amazing. It does reduce the breeze, which is what my aim was. I'm not even sure how much fuel I have in this thing. But that's okay. I brought a bottle with me. Oh, I think that's going to be fine. Now, I of course will kneel on my pad. <laughs> yes. I just have to remember alcohol. Okay. Oh, and that knee still is very much touchy. Still couldn't find teardrop bottles and the eyedroppers never remember them when I'm at the pharmacy. Okay. Now we'll have to see how many times we have to do the ignition. Okay, that's about eight ounces.
Old Faithful, right? Yeah, Nescafe, sweet and creamy. But this time, French Vanilla finally got some. The store's been out of them for probably three months. About three weeks ago or so, our province went to code condition red. Condition red. You can't go and visit anybody. Your grandkids can't come visit you. You can't go and dine in a restaurant. You can't even shop. You can't buy anything except essentials. I'm fortunate, I have a lady friend, and she's a widow, and we share supper every night. At least it's not total loneliness. So I have a neighbor friend that we have breakfast together. She came down for breakfast this morning because I have the internet. And on YouTube, we watched our pastor deliver the Sunday's message. He did a phenomenal job. The only problem he's having is his wife's on the audiovisual, on the sound booth, and he's at the front of the church delivering a message to an empty church. <laughs> I'll bet that must be discouraging. Where's my congregation that I love so much? Because he dearly does love his congregation. And, okay, now, you know those times of we give in to our weaknesses, right? Well, this is my little GSI mug. And it's got some insulation qualities. Anyway, so we're getting by. Yes, there's, there's friends we'd love to see. Family. My sons and daughter. Grandchildren. Oh, we'd love to see them. And my internet is not great. My last video took about 18 hours to upload. Oh boy, that was frustration. Into the pocket, leave no trace. Okay. I'm going to just leave that burning for now and we'll just have a cup of coffee. The main thing is I did find, yeah, I'm going to do some cutting up here, trimming. There's dead falls all over, so I'll be doing some work like that. Yeah, I know. When I get home, I will wash the, 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 the spoon. And put the lid on. And it should make it a little warmer. Oh, 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 oh. There's heat coming through. I love it. Yeah, so I'm going to say thanks so much for joining me out here in the woodlot today. It's a joy to finally get out here. Visit with me and drop me a note. I appreciate that. Now, wish you all God's best. Be safe. Take care of each other. And care for each other well. And may all the days before us bring you nothing but pleasure, happiness, and long life. God bless. Ted's clear.